Wash your hands, everybody. Hello. Hey, guys. We're going to wait a few seconds to let everybody get on and want to fit on. Um, and then you don't need any equipment for today. Uh, you might want to get some water handy. We're going to do a little bit more of a workout today. So you might want, uh, you might want to have something to drink. I'm going to take a little water break like halfway through the video. So. We're not going to do anything uh, insanely hard, but it, we are going to try to make it a little bit challenging. So this is our advanced class for today. So some of these exercises might be a little bit difficult, a little bit of a challenge. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go through our basic punches and a few basic defensive maneuvers and then uh, all of the kicks we've been working on over the past week. Okay, so for a few weeks really, but we'll go through it um, in just a second. We're just going to wait a few more minutes or seconds really before we start warming up. See if anybody else wants to jump in. said advance and a bunch of people went away. Did they get scared? Y'all got scared? Okay, so we're gonna start warming up. Uh, just basic simple warm up. We're gonna start with elbow pulls here. So cross your arms, we're gonna do four, and then two side twists left and right. So four pulls and then two twists, and I'll go right and left this time. So I'm switching it up each time. All right, we're going to stretch out our hamstrings just a little bit, okay? And so all we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to start with about shoulder width apart. You can go closer if you want. I'm going to reach up to the ceiling. My arms are going to stay straight. I'm going to make a giant curve. So I reach out forward, keep your hips back and your knees straight all the way down. And then touch your toes, hold it, and then stand back up. Arms come straight up. Reach out and forward, all the way down. Hold a second and then come back up. If you can touch the floor with your palms or your fists, that's even better. Okay, you can get your feet a little close, but it's even better. Keep going. This is not a fast move, this is just to get everything loose. All right, now we're gonna do um, a couple leg lifts. We're gonna do a couple different ones. Okay, first we're gonna do the leg swings that we worked on the other day. So I'm kind of gonna go to the corner here. I'm just gonna swing up and back, okay? And then reset, up and back, all right? When you lift up, don't overstretch, okay? You don't wanna hurt yourself. And when you lift back, really try to push that front hip and make it as long as you can, okay? Make your hip as long as you can. Push your hip out into the front and let your legs swing back. Do a few more on this side. One more, one more. All right, let's switch to so the other leg. So swing it up and then stretch that hip, that back swing. Really let your hip open up. I don't know, I said advanced and a bunch of people left. It's okay. All right, okay. Now we're gonna do another leg lift technique. This is actually gonna test uh, your balance a little bit, but it's also just, it's a good little core exercise. I'm gonna put all of my weight on one foot, okay? So that my left foot is bearing the load and my right foot is just floating here over the ground. Slowly, I'm gonna lift and try to tap my toe to my hand, but we don't want to cheat and swing, okay? So I'm not pushing off the floor and I'm not swinging my leg up like we did a second ago. All right, so I'm just nice, steady and even. I'm gonna start a little bit lower, but I didn't quite make it that time. There we go. Okay, so if you can go higher, go higher, okay? 
But don't cheat yourself, right? Don't say, oh, look what I can do, and then okay, be honest. Oh, gosh. Now, your weight is on one side, but it's not, I'm not leaning over. Let's do the other side. Okay, so I put all my weight on my right foot, but I'm still mostly standing up tall. Okay, I'm not tilting my hip out to the side or anything. And slow lift. Ah, try to keep your knees straight as you can. Don't swing that leg. Don't push off the floor. Really pull, okay? Um, try not to let your legs do any of the work. Try to let your core crunch up and pull that. All right, let's do one more quick uh, warm-up exercise here. We did these last time, if you watched our video last night, okay? We're just going to take three big steps to the front and freeze, and then three big steps to the back and freeze. So we're going to an angle. So I go left foot, right foot, left foot, hold it, right, left, right, hold it. One, two, three, freeze, one, two, three. And just try to catch your balance, okay? Try not to go, whoa, and lean back into it. All right, so we should do about 20 seconds on this side and 20 on the other. So let's go left, 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 leg, lead. Let's go. Left, right, left, right, left. And depending on how much space you have, you might take bigger steps, you might take smaller steps. That's okay. You can take small, fast steps. If you don't have a lot of room, if you have more room, use it. All right, great. We're just going to do the same thing on the opposite. So it's leading with your right foot this time. Ready? Go. Right, left, right, left, right, left. This will be the last one. All right, good. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna explain a couple techniques. We're gonna drill that technique, and then we're gonna do an exercise for one minute. Okay, and we'll just go back and forth in that pattern. So a minute of drill, a minute of exercise, a minute of drill, a minute of exercise. First round is going to be a jab. So in my stance, jab is always my front hand, front shoulder covering my jaw, back hand covering my face. I extend out, snap back in. My shoulder extends, my hip snaps forward as I strike. Okay, we punch vertically first, aim with those two knuckles. Okay, Snap, out and in, out and in, out and in, okay? If you want to do your right hand, you have to switch your feet and snap. Okay? Second part of this drill is going to be a duck. Down and up, down and up. No, you see that red line behind me? See how I just barely go to the red line and back up? Okay? Because if the punch is coming through my face, I just got to get out of the way of the punch. I don't need to sit all the way down low. Dodge the punch, you get right back up. Dodge the punch, get right back up. So for one minute, you're gonna work jab and duck. All right, you can work double jab, you can work duck, jab. All right, whatever you like. We're gonna do 30 seconds in each stance, so I'll tell you when to switch, okay? Ready? One minute, and go. Oh, got my timer going here. So just one side, throw in that jab, working the duck, working the duck, trying to stay in your stance. Your stance might be wider than mine. Your stance might be more narrow. Whatever's comfortable for you. Depends on our body length. Also, depends a little bit on your strategy. Are you kicking or are you only punching? You might be standing differently. Switch to the other side. Okay. Remember, a jab is my front hand. So if I'm going to throw a right hand jab, my right foot forward. Ten more seconds. You're almost there. You're almost there. Time. All right. Now, we're going to go to jumping jacks. Okay. One minute of jumping jacks. Use a good pace. Push yourself, but don't wear yourself out in the first 20 seconds. Okay. Ready? Set. Go. Plane. Vanilla jump. We're halfway 
halfway through, halfway through this round. Almost there, almost there, guys. Five more seconds. And time, all right. Good job, good job. Now, you get a quick breather while I learn how to work my timer. You get a quick breather while I learn how to work the timer, and then I'm gonna explain how to do the next step. So we're gonna go on, if you know our boxing drill, a number two is jab and cross. So I'm just gonna talk about the cross real quick. My back hip twists forward. My back foot pushes into the floor, but not off of the floor. My back knee looks at my front knee, okay? All of that has to happen for a good strong cross. So my back hand ooh, can only throw a good punch if all that other stuff supports it. Elbow stays down, don't let your arm hit up. So the two is jab cross. <sighs> jab cross, jab cross, okay? and stay tight and cover. The defensive move we're gonna work on this round is called a cover. So for the cover, I'm just covering the side of my head. So for example, if Mr. Tyler threw a left hook at my head, just cover, okay? Protect myself. I don't wanna reach real far out and away, okay? You can think about pointing your elbow forward if you want, or you can think about ducking your chin under, okay, if you don't wanna point your elbow quite as far forward, because that does leave your body a little exposed. You might feel better. Tuck in your chin, okay? So you got the two, which is jab, cross, and the cover. You can work jab and cover, jab, cross, cover, cross, cover, okay? Any option you like. Ready? One side only, then I'll tell you when to switch stances. Go. So you got the jab, cross, and the cover. You notice Mr. Todd and I are staying lying on our feet. It's easier to move if you're already moving. If you're standing totally still, you're going to be a little more stiff. It's a little more awkward. Switch your feet, other side. Okay? Boom. So right now we're doing a right jab and a left cross. Almost finished with this round. Mm -hmm. Time, all right, nice. Now, next exercise we're gonna do is lunge, squat, lunge. This is one of my favorite little exercises to do. I'm gonna keep my weight basically in the same spot. I'm gonna step back with my left foot, step back to the center and squat, step back with my right foot, okay? And when I step back, I'm going into a lunge straight down I'm not letting my body make lean forward. I'm not leaning back, okay? This is a squat, not a horse stance. So feet close to shoulder width, hips go down and back like you're sitting in a chair. All right, lunge, squat, lunge. Go ahead, go, one minute. A good, comfortable pace. Breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. When you squat, we want to keep our back up straight too, right? We don't want to squat and hunch. Squat down and up, not front to back. Halfway through this round already. Even though we're doing legs, keep this tight too, right? Keep your whole body working. Ten more seconds. Get a few more rounds in here. If you can go faster than us, that's great. Uh, if you're only going our speed, that's great. If you're going slower than us, that's great. As long as you're working, that's great. All right. Next round, number three, we add in the hook. Okay. 
So if you remember the drill, number three is jab, cross, then hook. A hook punch happens when my weight shifts from the front to the back, or front hook, and my hip snaps across. That ring in my top half, my shoulder comes up, boom, and then the punch flies out. You may punch horizontal or vertical, as long as you're hitting with your knuckles. Kind of depends on what your target is. If you're aiming low, probably going to be the vertical fist. If you're aiming close, probably going to be vertical. If you reach out a little further, okay, you might not be able to reach without bending your wrist really far. So it might be easier to turn your hand over. Okay, so the hook punch changes based on where you are. So three is jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Notice how my shoulder comes up and my arm comes out. My elbow doesn't come up, my shoulder comes up. Okay, that's really important. I don't want to pick up here because then I, I'm losing all that muscle support from my back. Okay, the defensive move we're going to work on is a slip. So, not a true boxing slip, but I'm just going to get my head to the outside of your attack. Okay, a person's fist is maybe what, like four or five inches, okay, across. So, you only have to move your head like six inches to get out of the way. All right, just enough to clear the punch. If I punch at Mr. Tyler, we're going to turn at an angle here, as you can see. He just has to move enough so it doesn't get punched. He doesn't need to go way over there. All right. That's too much extra work. So just clear the punch. Clear the punch. Clear the punch. All right. Most of the time, going to the outside. So we're going to work the three combination, which is jab, cross, hook. And we're going to work the slip with the cross, the jab, the hook, and in there as well. Okay? So you've got three punches and a slip to work on. Ready, set, go. One minute. One side, jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, slip, jab, cross, jab, cross, slip, jab, cross, slip, hook, right? You can, any of those little combinations, using those just four moves, you can come up with all kinds of stuff. Keep those hands up, keep your feet relaxed, keep your knees soft, boom, boom, switch stance. Other side, don't stand still, okay? When you're still, you're stiff, you're harder to move. You could hook to the body, right? We said that, but don't forget about that while you're practicing. All right, time, good. Next round here, we're gonna do a grip switch push-up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is change from a triangle push-up to a regular push-up. Okay, but on the floor, of course. Um, you may wanna open your feet a little bit for balance for those triangle push-ups. If you need to open your knees a little bit for your triangle, that's okay. If you need to, uh, Sorry, if you need to only go down halfway for your triangle push-ups, that's okay. It, only go down as far as you think you can. All right, so hands are under our chest. I'm gonna do my push-up, and I'm gonna switch. Regular, all right? Kind of hard to do in slow motion there. Um, if you need to, push up, walk your hands, walk your hands, that's okay too, all right? Just go at a good pace. I'm gonna to try to do these in maybe sets of like five and then I might take a quick break. Ready, set, go. If your form is suffering, stop and rest, right? All right, so I did five sets and I'm gonna rest, shake my arms out and I'm gonna go again. Real quick on those triangle push-ups, make sure you're not Snaking yourself up, right? Keep your body nice and straight. Twenty more seconds. We're almost there, guys. That's time. All right, one more round of these punching drills. And this is gonna be 
Number four, so jab, cross, hook, we have the uppercut for number four, okay? So I bend my knees and I twist my hips and lift. That's where my power comes from, is my hips, okay? Not just swinging my arm around, okay? Drop just a little bit, palm is up towards the ceiling. Boom, and it punches out. You could punch up, but you're not Mario. You're not punching way, way up there, okay? Um, one quick note is when I punch, if I'm punching my right hand, my right knee needs to point towards my target. Okay, I don't want to keep my knee off to the side. See how my hips are that way? I'm trying to punch you. No good. So bring your knee with you as you stick. Okay, either stick it in the body or bring it up to the face. But you really shouldn't be punching past your own jaw. You shouldn't be punching up here. Okay, so you've got the four. One, two, three, four, and duck, cover, or slip. So you've got seven different moves plus all your footwork to work in this round. Okay, ready, set, go. So you've got one, two, three, four, got the duck, you've got cover, and you've got slip. Okay, slip, slip across that way too. Mix it all up. Let's switch our stance. Other side. 30 more seconds here. Keep those hands up. Keep your feet moving. Keep your knees relaxed. your hips around shaking stuff out it's only a minute you can hold it for a minute here we go regular old plank go so remember to breathe everything is tight but your breath should still be normal don't clench your jaw or squeeze your neck that's not good for you keep your belly squeezed tight keep your legs and your butt tight Push your arms down hard into the floor. You're already halfway through it. We've got one more round after this, then we're going to our water break, okay? So you guys hold it, push it. Only 10 more seconds. You can hold it for 10 seconds. You got it? Three, two, one, and that's time. So, last round here, okay? You're gonna do free hands, all right? Any defensive move you want, any hand strikes you want, palm heels, chops, hammer blows, back fists, elbows, whatever you like. You're gonna do 10 techniques. Okay, after you've done 10, you're gonna do two burpees. All right, one minute, it's free, it's up to you. 10 moves with your hands, two burpees, and then keep on going. One minute, then we get a water break. Ready, set, go. You can use either stance. Maybe mix it up. Try both. Make sure you're not gonna get your hands on the light or the ceiling fan if you're in your living room or anything. Don't forget those defensive moves too, right? Your duck, your slip, your cover. We're already halfway through this round. You guys got it.
Almost there, almost there, guys. Time. Nice. Okay, we're gonna take a one minute water break and then we're gonna go over some kicks next. So catch some water and I come right back. About 15 seconds. You have room to kick and move around here, okay? No, excuse me, fixing my hair. Can you tell I got a haircut? All right, that's time for our break. So, we're going to go over front kick and back kick, okay? Front kick, my knee comes up, my toes are up to the ceiling, I kick with my heel. And remember, we were talking this week about snap pulling our foot back in after we kick. All right, let you stretch out a spring and let it go, or a rubber band and let it go. Back kick, my knee comes up, and it snaps back and comes up to the front again. And we mentioned last night, you might not lift quite as high as you would for your front kick, but you still do want your knee to point forward. You don't want your knee pointed down to the floor and your foot sagging back there behind you, okay? Now, the way we usually would use that back kick is with a spin, so if I'm gonna do a spinning back kick, Turn my heel, look over my shoulder, lift my knee and kick, okay? So what we're gonna do for one minute is we're gonna work front kick, back kick, spin back kick. Front kick includes a front kick with your front leg or a front kick with your back leg, okay? Those are both front kicks because they're both going to the front. Just like I can do a back kick with my front leg or a back kick my back leg. I know it's kind of confusing, but uh, it doesn't matter which leg it is when it's the name of the kick, it matters which direction your hips and your feet are going. Okay, so front kicks, back kicks, and spin back kicks for one minute. Everybody ready? Set and go. This time you can switch your stance as you go, okay? Because when you spin, things are going to be getting turned around and moved around, and that's okay. Okay. Try to focus on technique first before you start thinking about power, okay? Good aim, good stack, good recovery, okay? You might choose off that spin kick to step forward, or you might choose off your spin kick to step back the way you came. Either one is fine. You might even go here, and then step back and keep your eyes on me the whole time. Keep your eyes on the bad guy the whole time. He's the bad guy. Look at him now. Oh. Right? That might be your option. That's time right there. Okay. So, next we're going to do a T push up. The idea here is I'm going to do a regular push-up, and then I'm going to turn my body horizontal, or I guess vertical, really, and I'm going to make a T-shape, so I'm reaching and looking up to the ceiling. I'm going to do a sideways for you here. So I do my push-up, and then I rotate, so I'm straight up, and I look at my hand. Okay, look up, and then you do the other side next. Look up at your hand, Okay. Uh, nice, controlled, smooth motion up to the top. Don't go so fast that you lose your balance. All right? Here we go. T push-ups. Go. Push up and extend all the way up to the ceiling. You may need to adjust your feet. Play with your balance here. I'm gonna do another sideways for you. If you can see, try not to let your hip sag into the floor. Try to keep yourself straight as you lift up. Okay. Good 
If you can hear us breathing, uh, you, need, you should be breathing too, right? Breathe on the hard part. So breathe when you push up, breathe out, and then breathe in on the way down. Time right there. All right, next round, here we go. Side kick and reverse side kick. So if I'm facing this direction, my knee comes up in the front of my body, but my foot goes out to the side and comes back in. My knee has to be on top. If I try to kick Mr. Tyler and my knee is pointed down, I'm gonna end up pushing myself back, okay? My hip would be twisted in an odd position and I wouldn't have enough strength to kick that way. I would actually be bouncing off the other way. Reverse side kick is the same thing, but I spin first. So turn your heel, turn your head, but this time I keep spinning and I lift my knee so that my right hip comes up to the front so I can do a regular side kick, okay? So it's not a back kick. Back kick, my butt was towards you. Side kick, my side is towards you, okay? Side kick, reverse side kick, either stance. If you know how to do a turning side kick from the back, that's fine too, all right? Go ahead. Usually we just work a front leg or a spin, but some of you might know that back leg side kick where you're lifting and switching your hip in the air and then kick. That's okay too if you've got the human nose. Same as before, technique over speed. Push. Push. Speed is a byproduct of accuracy. It's a good rule to remember when you're training. That was on a good side. Six, seven, eight, and you're gonna jump over this hurdle to the other side. Do the same thing. When you do your high knees, keep your body forward, like if you were running forward. Okay, so don't lean back and swing your legs up. Keep your body forward and contract your core. Push yourself forward. Okay, eight high knees, and then jump over that hurdle. Ready? Go. You could jump over a pillow or something if you wanted to. Imagine you're really going over something, right? So don't just step to the side. Try to pick your feet up and hop up in the air. We're already halfway through. Shoelaces would go. If it's a front round kick, my weight can be back. Boom, I can just snap out. If it's a back round kick, I have to pivot on this foot as I bring my knee around. Okay? Now I was showing you the pivot. This leg was not perfect that time. Watch the pivot foot though. Okay, as my knee comes around, this foot is already turning. And then when I do the kick, it kicks and snaps back into my butt. So I can follow up with another kick. 
I could spin if I wanted, but I'm not doing this and just letting it fall off to the side. Okay? Front kick, excuse me, front round kick and back round kick. You mix up your stance, you do your kicks. Ready, set, go. One minute. We're getting close to the end here, guys. Keep it up. Really work on snapping that foot back to your rear after you kick. See Mr. Tyler starting to set up some spins too. Okay, if you want to think about that, you can. You could throw this kick low too, right? You can still lift your knee high, but kick down to the knee or the thigh, that works. Okay? Or yeah, you kick the power to the face, you kick to the chest. Ooh. This kick can hit almost anywhere and be fairly effective. Front round kick's not going to be your most powerful kick, but it's pretty fast. Back round kick can be a little stronger, but it's not as quick. So, just something to remember. Okay, here we go. That's time for the kicks. We're going to sit up and stand up. Okay? Two options here. You can do the exercise the other night where we did a sit up, we drop one hip, we push our foot into the floor, pull ourselves up into our fighting stance. Or you can do the one we worked on in class where you pick your feet up a little bit and then you slam down and try to come all the way up and keep your feet and your knees as close together as possible. Okay? You can even try that on one foot if you've got the two feet down. All right, so either option is good. Uh, please sit and lie down. Don't do a break fall from standing because you're not on the mat, okay? We don't want anybody to get hurt. So sit up, stand up, either the fighting stance option or the rocking chair option. Go ahead. Do a few of both. Sit up, drop that hip, pull myself up, okay? Stay in my fighting stance as I stand up. If you do it in the rocking chair, pull your feet down hard and try to keep your knees pointed to the front and stand up. You can try the one foot. I think Mr. Tyler's doing it there. Okay. Yeah, nice. Got it. Got one. Let's see if I can get the other leg. Oh, yeah. Nice. Any of those. For all of them, though, we're trying not to use our hands to get up off the floor. If you have to, you could put your back hand down and stand up. I'm making a sweat cloud over there, right here. All right, that's time. Good. One more round of kicks. And these two uh, don't go together quite as nicely as the other ones do, right? Because front kick and back kick are the same stack, uh, side kick and reverse kick are the same kick, the front and back round kick are the same kick. We're going to do a hook kick and a switch kick. I know they don't go together, but those are the kicks we've covered, so we want to work them. So my hook kick comes out like a side kick, and I slam my heel back into the target, okay? The back of my heel is what's gonna hit the target. Some styles teach you to use the bottom of your foot, like a slap, but uh, that's not what we do. We want the heel, we want impact, okay? So that's your front hook kick, and then your switch kick, you lift one knee, like a fake, though, you're going to hop and kick your other foot, okay? If you want to go higher, you have to pick your knee up higher. If you want to go forward, you have to press that knee really far and get your hip going forward, okay? So you can use that to travel to the front, or you can use it to launch yourself up high in the air, okay? Or you could just try to do it as a fake and do a real quick snap kick right there. So a switch kick and a front hook kick is what we're gonna work this round. I know they don't really match, but those are the two more advanced kicks we've been working on. So here we go, ready? One minute, go. Front hook kick and switch kicks. All right, let's scoot over here. I got a little sweat puddle if I don't wanna slip. For that hook kick, hook it back, but don't try to kick yourself in the butt. Right, remember you're not hooking around the target, you're hitting the target with your heel. C 
See Mr. Thomas working a reverse hook kick. So if you feel confident in your reverse side kick, you can start that. Make sure you got space. You can do switch kicks with other kinds of kicks as well. Uh, the front kick is the most common one. But you could do it with a round kick or a crescent kick. If you know how to do a tornado kick, that's a switch crescent kick after a spin. That's time right there. All right. So one more exercise and then our last bonus round and we are finished. We're almost there, guys. They're doing a great job. So leg lift and we're going to scissor or crisscross our legs on the way down. Okay, what we want to try to do is keep our hips on the floor though. So do this sideways first. My hips stay on the floor, my legs come up to the ceiling, and then as they go down, they crisscross, two, three, four. Don't touch the floor, bring them back up, okay? If you can see here, they cross on the way down, moving from the hips, okay? I'm not bending my knees. I'm trying to keep my legs as straight as possible. Okay, don't hold your breath. Here we go. Leg lift and scissor down. This is our last exercise, and we have one more round after this. Okay, you guys are doing great. Ready? Go. Leg lift, and then crisscross four times on the way down, and bring it back up. Notice we're not putting our hands under our butt. If you need a little bit of help, you could grab your pants. Kind of maybe take an easy round and then let go and go again. Over halfway there. Again, notice how to rest. We pull our knees in or we grab our pants legs. We haven't put our feet on the floor yet. So if you need to rest, that's okay, but try not to put those feet down. Unless you absolutely have to. But you only got five seconds left, so you don't have to. You can make it. There you go, that's time. Last round, okay? Uh, you guys will be familiar with this. This is our basic kick drill that we do in class. Four kicks, anything you like with good full power, and then four push-ups on the floor. That's it, all right? Only thing different is we're gonna do this one for 90 seconds instead of just a minute. So an extra 30 seconds. But you guys are tough, you can make it, okay? So, any kicks you like, it doesn't have to be the ones we did today. Ready, set, go. Four kicks, anything you want. Four push-ups, any kind of push-up you like too, doesn't matter. If you like those triangle push-ups or a different kind of push-up that we didn't do today, that's okay too. Power and speed is what we want now, okay? Each move should have good power and speed. I'm not saying do really fast kicks and be wimpy, but make each kick count. We're halfway through. Any four kicks you like. If you only want to do front kicks, that's fine. You do your front kicks with good power and good snap. Okay? That's great. Last 20 seconds, and then we're finished for the day. Y'all are doing great. You're almost there. Last 10 seconds. Everybody's working. All the way to the end. We got it, we got it. We're gonna make it. Time. All right. Great job, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for working and sweating with us. Um, we will be back next week. Videos up on Monday. Live classes starting on Tuesday again. Uh, stay well, wash your hands. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.